Hey guys, it's Dr. Wiggy. I just wanted to check in with you today and expand a little bit on what I was talking about this morning on the news, how certain foods that we eat can seem to cause certain autoimmune diseases. Now, let me first just go back and define what autoimmune disease is because this makes a little more sense. So an autoimmune disease is when our immune system gets confused and instead of attacking foreign things and things that can harm us, it starts attacking our own bodily tissue. Uh, like our thyroid or our pancreas or our intestines and this is when these develop these conditions such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis or type 1 diabetes or inflammatory bowel disease that's how they they develop now the late the leading theory about how this works and how you know functional medicine doctors approach this is that certain foods that we are allergic to actually do cause these problems now how this works is through a process called molecular mimicry now, what does that mean? Now, molecular mimicry basically is saying that the, the certain food particles that we're eating look very similar to certain tissues in our body. So, for example, there have been multiple studies that have linked gluten or wheat proteins with multiple different autoimmune diseases. So, let's take an example that gluten, a piece of gluten, looks very similar to our immune system as does a piece of thyroid tissue and that is how it is thought to trigger these autoimmune diseases an example of that that I've seen in clinic is that I had a patient with Hashimoto's thyroiditis which is the number one cause of hypothyroidism and he had elevated uh, TPO and uh, anti uh, antithyroid antibodies and we did food allergy testing on him and he came back with multiple food allergies, but definitely had a high uh, intolerance to gluten. And what we did is that we eliminated gluten from his diet, and basically his um, Hashimoto's resolved and his th hypothyroidism resolved. And now this, this doesn't happen in all cases of autoimmune diseases, but it does seem to happen in some, and you can't ignore those types of results. So just kind of to summarize, yes, it does seem that certain food allergies can cause certain autoimmune diseases and if you are suffering from any sort of autoimmune disease such as you know Hashimoto's thyroiditis and cause hypothyroidism uh, multiple sclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease, psoriasis, any of those things I would strongly recommend going to get a food allergy test done now not if all food allergy tests are, are created equal and I would recommend one that does check for IgG antibodies that is probably the most important one to test for so, like I said, if you have these, I would strongly recommend going to get that test done. Um, and if you know someone that has those has those conditions, please uh, forward this for them this video because I think that can help them. So, if you have any comments, please send them below. Um, otherwise, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, we'll come out with some other great some other great good videos. So, uh, hope you're all doing well, and uh, I'll talk to you later.